हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक विद दिनेश पिलानी दिस इज द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ वर्जन कंट्रोल इन वर्डप्रेस एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी गोन मेक पाइपलाइन सो सो दैट वी कैन ट्रांसफर अवर कोड फ्रॉम वन एनवायरनमेंट टू अनदर लेट्स से दिस वर्जन कंट्रोल एनवायरनमेंट इज अ डेव एनवायरनमेंट एंड द नेक्स्ट एनवायरनमेंट वी गोन क्रिएट इज फॉर क्यूए और इट कैन बी लाइव डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर रिक्वायरमेंट सो इन प्रीवियस टू parts we saw how we can set up wordpress we can create bitbucket account that provides private repository for free then we saw some settings for revisor and then we did some commits and then we pushed that commits to the bitbucket and now coming to here we going to make pipeline so first of all we need to do is we going to replicate same code to another environment so as we are in local host we have first made a folder that's version control that's a dev environment you can suppose it so for creating the second environment this is for this is for local host if you are working on it so you can write version control qa that will be my second environment and then you need to copy all the files from the dev environment to qa and side by side you need to replicate the database as well so we going to create another database that's php my admin till that time the code is being transferred we we go we going to create another database and we we'll, we are in the database and now we going to create one with the name version control qa yeah and then what we need to do is this is the dev database dev environment database version control we need to export this database now click on go it will export a sql file and then reimport it in qa click on import click on choose a file now it is in downloads here version control qa and click on go and now the database which we have exported from dev environment will be replicated in qa environment let's wait here yeah now the import is done so the people who are working with wordpress already they know that if you are transferring one website from one domain to another you need to change the database options and then you need to change the database options fields that is site url and home url so you need to change it here that's version control qa and same will be copied to home url basically on these two url the web the wordpress website runs so we going to modify one more thing as our file have been copied from dev environment so we going to change here the config file yeah so we going to change here the database name rest all will be the same and yeah whenever you are transferring the website from one environment to another for creating pipeline you need to change the revisor path as well so here is version control we going to give version control qa that's it all done and now i'm going to hit the url version control qa yeah 
yeah now the website is up so we gonna do wp admin and the username and password will be same which was in there so yeah my password is saved so i'm clicking on login and i am in so we can say here is this is our dev and this is our qa so what we going to do is now we going to transfer some changes from dev to qa via pipeline so we need to do some settings for that it will take time so we going to do some settings we going to go at revisor and see on the dashboard yeah all the things are appearing well there is no error now go to settings everything looks fine now go to databases now here is a tricky part in this qa environment you need to ignore one table so you need to select let me decide and you need to ignore this table that's wp option because this table contains our home url and site url so and as in previous video i told you that we going to give here a development url when the changes will be pulled here so we going to define here a dev url that's it and we going to take this option import database when pulling the commits that's it and my driver will be wordpress save yeah the settings are being saved so come come to dev environment click on settings go to remote and here is in one option that automatically push new commit and here is an option automatic pulls new commit so what we going to do is the same option are available here so we going to check this option in qa environment automatic pulls a commit so when we check this option we got a url that whenever any commit is made this url will automatically being triggered here so now going to the as the url has been gen, has been generated we have copied it so going to the dev environment settings we going to provide here the url which we have copied so what it will does is as the commit will be done and the changes will be pushed to a repository this url will be triggered and here automatically the changes will be pulled so we going to see how it can be possible so click on save changes and the changes are have been saved everything is set up yeah that's fine that's fine now we going to go at dashboard now what we going to do is we going to create one new post <clears throat> we going to name it as test post my first test post 
and click on publish publish yeah as you can see the post has been published and here's an url here's a test post now what we're gonna do is we're gonna migrate this data from dev environment to qa so we got we're gonna go to revisor click on dashboard after coming to dashboard now the thing is everything whichever you do like creating a new post uploading media or adding a plugin or adding a new page or comment everything that is done is being saved in database so click on backup database yeah the backup has been done so what we gonna do is we gonna push the changes to the bit bucket and at the same time the revisor webhook url will be triggered and the post we have created here in dev environment will be migrated to the qa environment automatically now let's wait here and see Our changes have been pushed and here is a message successfully pushed one commit to a origin master. Now as I said the revisor webhook URL will be triggered and the import will be done here automatically. And yeah see we are in the QA environment and the database has successfully imported 49 seconds ago. So now we are gonna go and see all post and we will see here is the test post which has been migrated from dev environment to the QA now we gonna click on view and see yeah the test post is here in the QA URL so what we did is we created one new post in dev environment this is the URL and then we back up the database and then push the commits to the master and then the revisor webhook URL was triggered and the same was imported here the thing I like the revisor is because the changes are being merged from one environment to another environment instead of being replaced and it's give, it gives you a variety of options if you use it carefully so basically this was the pipeline and currently coming to a real scenario when you, you are working on server side and you there are different servers and there are multiple environments you need to work on so you need to do one thing is go to revisor settings in the QA environment click on remote and the revisor webhook URL which you have generated you need to copy this that URL and you need to go in version control repository or wherever you have created your repository there will be a settings that will be with the name with webhook so you need to add a webhook and then you need to give the url as this is a local host this won't work if this was a actual url it gonna trigger on the push event to a repository whichever I have selected here that's master you can select any dev QA and give here a title like new changes to be pushed 
it needs to be pushed so whenever you will make any new commit to a branch and then the this webhook will be triggered so as we were in local host we gave the qa url here qa environment url here so it was triggered from here so instead of this you need to provide the url here so looking at the real time scenario this is your dev environment this is your git this is your qa environment let's name it as dev let's name it as at git and let's name it as qa yeah so in real time scenario what happened is whenever the changes are being pushed to git to any branch to any branch in our case that is dev we have set up a revisor webhook url here in the git so whenever the changes are being pushed here the url the revisor url webhook is being triggered and all the changes are being migrated to a qa you can make your own flow i have made made here is dev you can create a another branch that name qa so you can whenever you merge the changes from dev to qa in git so set the trigger event on qa push event the revisor webhook error will be called and the changes will be migrated to the qa environment so this is the simple pipeline we have made for wordpress and this is the end of wordpress in version control thank you and if you like the video please like share and subscribe it